We're at this farmer's market thing, um, like kind of right down the road from us in Austin, because that's where we live now. I got some coffee from one of the food trucks over here. Super cool stuff, by the way. And uh, now we're gonna go hit the actual farmer's market and see what they have. It seems like a lot of like local like food companies. Um, I saw a lot of like vegan stuff like that. Hey, Brian, uh, it's almost like it's a farmer's market. But we got the uh, Sony camera out, getting some sweet, sick shots with that. Sick. Look how good she looks right now. Look, peep that outfit. And the necklace, and the makeup, and the, the everything. Wow, it's like I actually tried today. The hardest thing, that now we have coffee, is I can't like record and drink coffee at the same, same. time. So we're sacrificing our shots for the coffee. It's worth it. <laughs> All right, we just got done at the farmer's market All right up there, but check this out right at the edge of the farmer's market There's basically these like steps that go all the way along the edge and there's just water here at the end like this is Honestly how Austin is basically everywhere. And there's these super cool areas that just kind of are just amazing to look at Yeah, this is definitely Haley was like I can't believe we live here now Check these out. Okay, so she got a sweet ring Show some b-roll of that right now And then I got some uh, some coasters for the office. Show some B-roll of that now. And, uh, and yeah, I don't know. We're just enjoying this amazing view down here. It's so cool. There are so many coffee stands. It's like <laughs> overwhelming. This coffee was amazing and I can actually kind of feel it, which is weird because I never feel it's coffee. It's really strong. Apparently cold brew coffee has a lot more caffeine than normal coffee. And that's really all people drink in Texas, so the coffee's yeah. been affecting us a little more and we're getting a little more reliant on it because we're drinking so much caffeine. But check out this view, look, this is just amazing. And that's all a park, all over there. On another note, my booty's burning on this oh, thing. okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll go. Oh God. Wow. Yeah, I'm just gonna <gasps> Make sure you don't fall. Something that I would 100% recommend, and it's something that we've been trying to do, is if you move to a new place, go explore different things. Um, somehow Haley found out about this farmer's market, so we decided to go today. And it's just so much fun getting out and doing stuff. Yesterday we went out with our friends I to this to lake. Like, we went out to a lake yesterday. We're really trying to get out and explore, because what's the point of being in a new city if you just sit in your apartment all day and do nothing? So. We'll go home. But now, ooh, this girl next to us has a really nice Jeep. Now we're gonna go make some lunch back at home. Okay, we're back at the apartment, but to be honest, this, I think it's the caffeine, man. This is hurting my head. Uh, I don't know if it's caffeine or just being outside and, and so much going on, but my head actually kind of hurts pretty bad. So, I don't know, I might sit down for a minute. My head actually hurts super bad, so I'm gonna go eat some food. Then I actually have to go with Haley to trade in my phone. I'm switching phone carriers. I'm gonna go switch over to T-Mobile. So, trying to decide between the iPhone X and the iPhone 8. The iPhone X is $300 down, which kind of sucks because the iPhone 8 is $0 down. It's kind of hard to justify that. Do you want to talk about your um, Posh Hey, Google. Thing? Okay, so I'm just a little irritated today. My Poshmark has finally been picking back up again now that I have everything, like, working out. I went and bought a bunch of like vintage t-shirts. They were all like four dollars and I sold one that was a Texas State tee and as I was wrapping it up I realized the armpit had a hole in it and that was just super frustrating because it had sold so I had to go back and tell the person I'd give her a full refund and I had to cancel the order and it just stinks because you know I mean I'm only out four dollars but it just I feel like it reflects poorly on me so yeah, I am going to do a better job of looking over the items fully before I post them. Things happen sometimes. I'm hoping she'll just be okay with it. I might send it to her anyway and cut it as a tank top or something, but bummer. That's yeah. how cool it is. Maybe I'll cut it as a tank top and you can just... I would say that's actually like a super sweet tee, but like in the in the armpit there's a hole. Yeah. But it, I mean the graphic is like she's super sick and it's uh, comfort colors, so 
If you guys know anything about shirts, Comfort Colors is a pretty sweet brand. Come back, come back. No him, he's gone. We just got to Zilker Park. Oh God, oh. Uh, we got Scrappy, got Haley. The water thing's working. He's drinking out of a water bottle lid. Uh, so if you guys don't know, Zilker Park is basically this park kind of near the down, downtown Austin area. Um, here, just look. So this is the park, it's, it's really, really big. It goes way, way back there. But then all the way to the other side, there's the city, right there. Pretty cool views, actually. Now the way that this park actually like kind of works for dogs is all the dogs go in this big area out here and they all play, but the thing is none of them ever wear leashes, so there's just dogs like running all over the place back and forth playing with each other. Scrappy would never survive that. He would just run and be gone forever. So he's on a leash and he's sitting right here with us, but there's other dogs out there playing. It's actually super cool. They have volleyball courts here. They got a lot of stuff going on, but it's really just a big open field thing. Should I take him to see the dogs? He'll probably get scared. All right, let's go check out those doggos right over there. See how you do. Can you hold them? No, I'll just bring them. I got it. I'm not gonna protect you, go away. This guy loves him. You are so cute. <laughs> he wants to play with you. Go play with them. There you go. No, never mind. He actually did a lot better than I thought he was going to. He stayed by it, well, he, he stayed by us because we had a leash, but he wasn't barking or growling or pulling or... Yeah, I think he would have stayed by us if he didn't have one. I'm just a little nervous to try it. He did a lot yeah. better than I thought. Good job! I also didn't tell you guys, but I got my, what is that? My phone upgraded right before I came here. I switched to T-Mobile uh, from Sprint and now nothing on my phone works. It's basically like a brand new phone and uh, I can't even turn on iMessage. So I'm kind of stressing out a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, back to the vlog. Okay, attempt number two at getting him to go play with the dogs. He didn't do bad last time, but there's, there's, oh, there's dog poop. Okay, there's more dogs over there that Haley wants to go see, so really we're going over there for her. We didn't trust to let Scrappy off this time, because like I said, everyone lets their dogs off the leashes, but we didn't feel like doing that and losing him. Good boy. Oh, he's wrapped around me again. Ugh. You just elbowed yourself on my own elbow. You elbowed me. I didn't even move. You like lifted your head up into my elbow. <laughs> Uh, we didn't let him off this time. We're gonna try to do it next but time. Look, if I call him, he comes. Ready? Scrappy, come here. Good boy. Those electric scooters are literally everywhere here in Austin. Everywhere. Funniest thing I saw though was uh, this woman, a little bit older, didn't really know how to use them, was pushing herself up a hill manually, like by foot, with an electric scooter. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could start your car from a distance? and you get to it and it's already on and the AC is already, oh my God, it's going. So uh, I'm editing the video that you guys are watching right now and I realized we never did an outro for the video at all. Wow, my scruff is getting bad. Um, and I apologize, a lot of the footage was kind of weird because the mic on this camera is like dead, road, the road mic broke again. So we're getting that fixed this weekend. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. I promise we'll start ending the videos when we actually end the videos. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next one. And darling, where do we go?